guys, I'm Kelly and this is Mending Time where we teach you all of the arts of sewing and um, crafting and just some really cool home things. So today we are studying on um, storages, storage containers for your fabric. So hang in there guys, we'll be right back. Welcome get back guys. Um, today we are, stud we are um, learning about fabric storage. So there are so many different ways to store fabric. And just because I am showing you a few things today doesn't mean that that's all. So be sure and just check it out. But one of the things that I like to do is I like to take and put my little squares, my, these are called fat quarters, into a basket and store them um, out. They're very pretty. Another way is this box here. It's by Art Bend, and we'll be sure and put that in our link below. But it's just a, a 12 inch square. Um, what I'm doing is I'm working on making a t-shirt quilt for my daughter and I have been collecting her t-shirts over the years. But this is a 12 inch and you just stick them in here and hang on to them until you get ready to use them. But it will hold a 12 inch square, which is very good storage and they stack on top of each other right nicely. One of the other ways that I store my fabric is this filing box. Um, I am using it. It's by Sterilot. Ster, Sterilot? Um, I think I got this at Walmart. $5.99 something like that. But they're real good. It's for hang, got hanging folders. A hole to hang folders in. But I've also got my daughter's quilt pieces in here that I'm doing for her Batman quilt. And as you see, I have them all pinned together, and I have the beginning part of the quilt. Also have um, the decorative boxes that you get at Womp at um, Dollar General. They are, are card boxes that you can store your cards in. Uh, those would be perfect. Um, there are so many other ones. If you have any at home or any ideas that you'd like to let us know, please give us a comment. And as always, here at Mending Time, we love you. 